Morning, morning, everyone. It is another scorcher of a day today. Just getting out here, just launched the boat. Um, today we're at Lake Louisville. If you're on Louisville, in my opinion, Westlake Park right here is the best ramp on the lake, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people go to Little Elm, it's 10 bucks a launch, which is pretty high for me, I think. And uh, this one's free, and there's literally three trailers in the parking lot, that's it. It's never crowded easy to get in and out you don't have to worry about people you know crowds or people fishing off the dock that kind of thing so definitely recommend that ramp if you're on lewisville but i got a treat for y'all today um, we are going to make a long run hopefully the wind allows it and uh, we're going to do a little experiment today uh, i'm going to kind of a little i guess a little scent experiment and we're gonna we're gonna do that i'm gonna explain that a little more once we get over to the spot but I'm gonna kind of get things ready to go, eat my breakfast, and then we'll start heading out. So let's go. All right, you guys. So I wanted to do a little um, experiment. I think I might have finally found some fish. Um, like I said, I haven't been out here in a couple weeks or longer, so I'm trying to figure these fish out what depth they're at right now. And so I might have found some, but. I want to do an experiment today. I know a lot of people really, really believe in scents for crappie, um, whether it's sprays, um, nibbles, they have little fireballs. There's so many out there on the market today. Um, but I wanted to show you um, that that's, I'm, I'm not so sure I believe in scent. I don't think crappie really are scent oriented. So what I'm gonna do is just some sunscreen right here. This little jig right here. I don't know how good y'all can see it. Just a little bitty jig. I'm gonna rub this sunscreen all over this jig. Like, look at that. I don't know how good the camera's gonna pick that up, but I covered that jig in sunscreen. And I'm gonna put the rest right here, because I need it. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop this jig down with this sunscreen all over it and show you guys that it'll catch fish, which is crazy to think, but I've, I've always had this, this opinion as far as the scent goes. So let's see, let's drop down. All right, you guys, I think I think I've been fishing too shallow, so I'm kind of going out a little deeper. I got a piece of submerged timber. Well, this part's sticking out, but the rest of the tree is underwater. And so I'm gonna fish this. It's a little deeper, about four or five foot deeper than what I've been fishing. I'm definitely missing something, part of the puzzle, but let's see. I'm just gonna do again, just put sunscreen all over this jig, just like that. Sunscreen all over this jig. Um, but, think if I can find some fish that would help a lot <laughs> having trouble finding these guys like this right here there's definitely some fish down in the center of this I just don't know how big they are but we're gonna find out pretty quick I think so I'm gonna kind of start a little shallow and uh, go from there and perch y'all there are so many bluegill in this lake it's not even funny pull my jig down like that and everything i'm gonna go down in the tree i think maybe that'll help me with these perch oh they're hitting it on the way down i don't know what they are but they're hitting it Pulled it down again. Golly, you guys. It's getting annoying. This tree usually holds them pretty good. There's one. Nice one, too. Well, they might keep sunscreen soak jigs you guys i have not even i didn't i'm not gonna cut the camera or nothing because i want you to see like there's no, nothing like trickery going on right here sunscreen pretty crazy huh i uh i think he might keep i'm actually gonna keep some for my in-laws so let me see i need to keep i think 10 they wanted that one's close. No, that one's short, but pretty black crappie. 
so. What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna re-dip it in, in sunscreen every every time I catch a fish. That way, um, y'all don't think like, oh, it's so it's you know coming off in the water or whatever. But this stuff's strong right here. This is some strong stuff. Again, just soaking it in that sunscreen. Hopefully, y'all can see everything all right. I'm gonna just drop right back down in there. I was just getting ready to say this tree usually holds them pretty decently, so. I know there's some crappie on it somewhere. And there's another one. That might be a bluegill. Or a sandy or something. Yeah, it's another sandy. God dang it. I'm telling you, I don't understand why on Louisville these these sand bass get right in everything that the crappie are in. I mean, every time. Like on a tree. <laughs> and I've noticed that over the years. They do that a lot. Again, I'm just going to soak it right in there. Got that, whatever that is. Another sandy or something. Oh, big blue. Huh. My in-laws would like that. You tell me right now too, that's another. I mean, catfish are very scent oriented. And this fish thought this jig soaked in sunscreen was something to eat. So, just makes you wonder, at least me, I don't think I don't think sand is, imp is, imp is as important, especially for crappie. It's, oh, I think it's just overhyped, honestly. I don't know how we're gonna get this guy in, but we're gonna try. Okay, here we go. Good blue. Well, he was not coming off either, I tell you. God, his teeth are sharp. Am I in? Yeah, that's a blue. All right. Catfish tore my jig up, so I'll put a new one on. Put a little smaller profile. I feel like that small profile is gonna really make a difference. So, just put sunscreen all over it. Just like that. And we're gonna drop down in here. There's some crappie down here. I see them, but they're just kind of tricky to get on them. Get through all the bluegill and catfish and all that kind of stuff. Let's see, maybe that current is getting it. There's one. Little one, but. And there he goes. Little guy. It might be what's a lot of that down there that I'm seeing. A little bitty crowd. Kind of where I caught that little one at just a second ago. Yep. Another sunscreen fish. Little guy. Little black crappie. If I can. Yep, there's another one. Oh, that one got me hung up in the tree. There he came. Nice one. Nice one right there, you guys. Sunscreen fish. Maybe that little smaller profile is going to make a difference. It's a keeper black right there. Go ahead and throw him in here too. That fish hit it on the pitch too, which is something to take note of. 
And I might make this video a little longer just because I don't want you guys to think I'm cutting anything out. More sunscreen on that jig. I think, that's what I'm saying, I need to get to where I'm horizontal on these fish. Or vertical, I mean. I'm, I'm That uh, current's really pushing my jig all the way around. I think it'd be better if I could get to where I'm sitting straight up and down on them. There looks like some... There's another one. That's a good fish right there. Oh, I thought he was way bigger than that. <laughs> another sunscreen fish. He's short. Maybe there's a little concentration of them over here. So again, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on here. Kind of, oops, that wasn't good. Kind of running out. Try and save that a little bit. Just cover this jig in that sunscreen. And I'm gonna try, it looked like there was some fish right over here too. Let's see, they're right on the bottom too. So I'm gonna see if I can get down there to them. If this current will let me. I'm using a really light jig head too, which, I prefer a little heavier, but I don't have the right size hooks on those heavier ones that I need, so. straight here if I can. Some serious current coming down through here. Ooh, line went slack. That's why I use that high-vis line. Just watch that line as it goes down. Might be all she wrote on this one. Oh, had to talk about him a little bit. <laughs> it's a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a nice black crappie right there. In this video on you guys. Sunscreen crappie. There we go, it's a good fish. Nice fish. Put this guy in here and Two. Ooh, he's mad. Almost came out of my hand. Nice fish. All right, y'all. So I don't want to make this video too, too long. I know because it's going to be a little longer because I'm having. I'm going to like leave it longer clips in there because I don't want y'all to think I'm trying to trick you guys or anything when it comes to this. So I make it a little short. I think caught four, five fish, six fish. I'm not sure but sunscreen on some jigs you guys so if that doesn't make you wonder i mean i i know some others have done that too with like the spray but i don't know you guys if a, if a crappie is scent oriented why on earth did it did these ones just bite that you know i know there is nothing natural at all about this sunscreen so yeah Maybe since not as important as most think it is. And that's how I've, I've always thought. I've always felt crappie are sight-oriented fish. They feed by sight. They, they have big eyes, they look for food, and if it looks right to them, they'll eat it. Not so much as go up and smell it and all that. I mean, I think it just has to be the right profile. And whether that's, you know, small, lengthwise, or body shape, or creature bait, that type of thing. You get that dialed in, um, don't worry about nibbles. I think they're overrated. I actually don't even have any in my boat. I don't have any. I have some little fake corn that I use when I'm when I'm perch fishing every now and then, but I don't use those ever. Um, don't use any kind of spray scents or nothing like that. These jigs are they're unscented. There's there's no smell. Smell like plastic. And yeah, next time you're out there, make sure my rod's not getting taken in the water. Next time you're out there, 
don't be so caught up on the the minnow the the minnows the nibbles scent you know spraying your jig all that stuff it's more of a confidence thing it's not really needed and with how things are expensive wise now you know that's just one less thing you got to buy so hope y'all enjoy don't forget to leave, leave a comment down below if you have any questions what do you guys think you know do you what would you agree based on this experiment that scent's not as important as many think it is um, we just caught fish on sunscreen soaked jigs so y'all comment down below let me know what y'all think subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell leave us a thumbs up as well if you enjoy i really appreciate it thanks for all the support and we'll catch you in the next one y'all take it easy